right guys today I'm gonna do a quick video on an easy go TXT golf cart hub bearing replacement I've already got some things off here so obviously it's gonna be a little faster let's just run through it real quick seems like short videos are more popular nowadays obviously remove all the lug nuts get the cart jacked up pull the tire off take that castle nut off looks like this you're gonna have uh, the snap ring under here once you pull this hub off brake drum or whatever the bearings connected to the axle that runs down into the splines on the motor I've already got this one kind of worked loose but if you just grab it and yank on it you can probably get it out if it's stuck, you may need to get a jack, um, slide hammer or something like that to get it out. But once you get that snap ring out, which looks like that, with a set of your snap ring pliers, hopefully you know how uh, snap ring pliers work, yank on that axle like that to get it out. Your bearing there mine's bad cart was making a bunch of noise if you got side to side play or up and down anything like that you got a bad bearing that goes for anything make sure you can see that tons of play use a pipe or something similar to slide down this entire thing entire axle once you get it down there, you can hit it with a hammer. You could use a wrench to place the wrench, you know, the open end right here, and whack it with a hammer. It'll come off like that. When you go to put it back on, just use a long socket or, again, a long piece of pipe. Make sure you get it on the inner race. You don't want to hit this outer race because you'll wind up having it look like that again. So, once you get it on there, tap it all the way down until it stops about right there. Again, easy go, TXT, golf cart, same thing for pretty much every year. If you have any questions, comment below and subscribe to my channel because I'm going to be putting out a ton of videos on how to fix stuff. Thanks.